Daddy Pig is making vegetable soup for lunch. Daddy, can I help? Thank you, Pepper. Can you clear away all these vegetable peelings? OK. <laughs> Stop, Pepper. Vegetable peelings don't go in the normal bin. They go in this brown bin. Ooh, banana. That's right, George. It's a banana skin. And there are onions and carrots and all sorts of fruit and vegetable leftovers in here. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa will like these. Do Granny and Grandpa Pig eat potato peelings? <laughs> no, Pepper. They're for Grandpa's garden. They help his plants grow. Ooh. We can take these round there after lunch. Oh, goody. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are taking the vegetable peelings over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig, Papa Pig, we've got a special present for you. Ah, vegetable peelings. <laughs> Fantastic. My garden will like these. Does your garden? Eat vegetables? Oh, ho, ho. no, Pepper. These peelings are for my compost heap. What's that? I'll show you. Here it is. It's a wooden box. Yes, Pepper, but it's a very clever wooden box. I put these peelings in the top, and then out of the bottom comes lovely, rich earth called compost. How does it do that? Is it a magic box? Oh, oh, no, Peppa. I've got some little friends that give it some help. Where? In here. Look. Ah, wriggly worms. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> the worms turn all the fruit and vegetables into compost. Grandpa, can we find some more? Wiggly worm for your compost tape. What a good idea. Come on, George. Let's find some more wiggly worms. <laughs> <laughs> a wiggly worm. Wiggle, wiggle. You're a wiggly worm. You're a wiggly worm. How do you do? I love you. You're a wiggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Be a good wiggly worm and turn it all into compost. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> then I can use the compost to... I know, I know. You put a seed in the ground, cover it in compost and it grows into a tree. Oh, oh. Yes, Pepper. And talking of trees, we'd better go and help Granny Pig. She's collecting fruit in the orchard. What's the orchard? It's where you find fruit trees. We've had this orchard since I was a little piggy. <laughs> Hello, Granny Pig. Candy Pig. Are you going to help me collect some apples? Yes, Granny. Oh, the apples are too high up. Don't worry, Pepper. Granny and Grandpa have a little trick to collect the apples. Everybody hold on to the tree. On the count of three, shake the tree as much as you can. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> it's raining apples! <laughs> <laughs> Granny, can we have an apple, please? Of course, Pepper. Mmm, delicious. And can you guess what we do with the apple cores? Uh. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. That's right. <laughs> the apple cores go into the compost for the worms. Clever, George. <laughs> and clever, wiggly worms, too. <laughs> 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 Grandpa at the playground. Grandpa Pig is looking after Pepper and George today. Now, Grandpa, I will tell you how everything works. This is the slide. You climb up here and you slide down there. Whee! And everyone takes it in turns. Oh, ho, ho. Whee! I know what a slide is, Pepper. I used to play on one myself when I was a little piggy. Did you have swings too in the old 
olden days. Oh, we had swings and climbing frames and roundabouts. Ooh. But my favourite was the slide. It is my favourite too. <laughs> Whee! Everyone takes it in turns to have a go on the slide. Whee! <laughs> Naughty Richard. You know you have to wait your turn. Richard Rabbit finds it hard to wait his turn. Oh, dear. It's not easy being small, is it, Richard? <laughs> because Richard is little, I don't think he should have to wait. I wouldn't change the rules if I were you, Grandpa Pig. Nonsense. The children understand, don't you? <laughs> Whee! George is little and he has to wait his turn. <laughs> yes, George is little, so he shouldn't have to wait either. <laughs> Whee! Oh dear, Whee! Richard and George are taking all the turns on the slide. Grandpa, when do we get to go on the slide? Don't worry, Peppa, they won't be on it for long. <sighs> Bored of waiting. Me too. Let's play on the swing. <laughs> Here is Pedro Pony on the swing. No. Pedro, can I have a go now? I just want to swing a bit more. But you've been on the swing for ages. Grandpa Pig, can you push me a little bit, please? I think it is someone else's turn now, Pedro. But I have to go home soon. Oh, oh I see. That's different. Let me push you, then. But, Grandpa! <laughs> <laughs> I'm bored of waiting. Me too. And me. Well, let's fly on the roundabout. <laughs> Everyone wants to get on the roundabout. <laughs> too many children on the roundabout. Everybody off. <gasps> but, Grandpa Pig, I was actually here first. Ah, then you can get back on the roundabout. I need to get on too. Oh, why is that, Rebecca? Um, because it's my birthday soon. Oh, uh, OK. <laughs> and me! Uh, all right. <laughs> is everybody ready? Yes! <laughs> Stop! There are no boys on the roundabout. Um... <laughs> now is everybody ready? I'm wearing glasses. Can I go on, please? The children are making up their own rules. I need to get them because I like carrots. <laughs> now, are you all ready to go? No, I have to get on because I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Mummy Pig. How are you getting on, Grandpa Pig? I, I, I'm confused. These playground rules are too complicated. There is only one rule, Grandpa Pig, and that is everyone waits their turn. Whee! <laughs> what? Even the little ones? Even the little ones. What about the very old ones, like Grandpa? Even the very old ones, like Grandpa. At the playground, everyone has their turn. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> a trip to the moon. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa is playing with her bouncy ball. George and his friend, Edmund Elephant, are playing with their space toys. <laughs> moon, moon. George is pretending that the bouncy ball is the moon. I was playing with that ball. Oh. Edmund's space toy has landed on Peppa's head. <laughs> <laughs> this looks fun. Are you going to the moon? <laughs> it's just boring space stuff for babies, Daddy. It's not real. But space is real, Peppa. And there are real rockets that go to the moon. The museum has a show all about the moon. <laughs> Shall we go and see it? Yay! Yay! Will we really have to go to the moon? No, Peppa, we're not going to the moon. We're going to the museum. OK. Here is the museum. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Have you come to see the moon show? <laughs> yes, Miss Rabbit. Five tickets, please. 
There you are. Enjoy your trip to the moon. Oh, we really are going to the moon. No, Peppa. It's just pretend. This way for our trip to the moon. Mr Rabbit is the tour guide. Ooh. Prepare for takeoff. It's just pretend, isn't it? That's right, Pepper. It's just pretend. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. We live on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. That's right. <laughs> I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Uh... Mercury. Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Edmund knows all about space. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> oh, does anyone know what these planets are made of? They're made of cardboard. These models are made of cardboard, but the real planets are made of rock and ice and gas. But of course the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, the moon is made of rock. And this is a serious tour, so no jokes and no giggling. Here we are on the moon. It's a pretend moon, really, isn't it? Yes. If this was the real moon, you could jump over my head. Ooh. Does anyone know why we can jump so high on the moon? Gravity. Oh, that's right, Edmund. Gravity is what keeps us on the ground. It is weaker on the moon, so you can jump higher. Ooh. We can make you feel like you're jumping on the moon with the help of science. That sounds impressive. How do you do that? With big rubber bands. Everyone is strapped into Mr Rabbit's anti-gravity rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing on the pretend moon is fun. Say moon cheese. Moon cheese. <laughs> And that is the end of the tour. Please walk this way. Are there trees on the moon? No. Are there any cars on the moon? No. Are there any moon shops? No. That would be silly. Welcome to the moon shop. We've got moon maps, moon books. We've even got a picture of piggies on the moon with an elephant. Look, there we are, jumping on the moon. We've got moon rock, too. It's got a picture of the moon all the way through the middle. Ooh. How about some real moon cheese? How much is it, Miss Rabbit? Five pounds, please. Five pounds? It's all for a good cause. I like the moon now because it's very interesting. Hmm. And very tasty. <laughs> 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 Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George on a boat trip. Uh, Polly Parrot is going too. Uh, Grandpa Pig, <coughs> have you got your mobile phone? Yes, Granny Pig. Don't drop it in the water. No, Granny Pig. Is it switched on? Yes, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye bye. Here is Grandad Dog. Ahoy there! <laughs> Ahoy there! Lovely day to go sailing. I would go too, but my boat needs a clean. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know why you bother cleaning that rusty boat. I'm surprised it's still afloat. This rusty boat will still be afloat long after your old tin boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. <laughs> Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Full steam ahead. Goodbye. I am the captain of this boat, and when the captain tells you to do something, you must do it. Aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. George, raise the flag. George, raise the flag. <laughs> Peppa, ring the bell. Peppa, ring the bell. <laughs> Grandpa. Can I be the captain, please? Okay, but as captain, 
You must wear this hat. Now Peppa is the captain, and everyone must do what she says. Ring the bell. Turn that wheel. Aye, aye, Captain Peppa. Jump up and down. <laughs> captain Pepper is a bit bossy. Perhaps I should be the captain again. We don't want to crash into anything. Steering the boat can be tricky. Luckily, I'm good at steering. <laughs> oh dear. Grandpa Pig's boat has crashed into a little island. Grandpa, we're stuck. I'll ring Granny Pig. She can get help. Whoa! Oh! Grandpa Pig has dropped his phone in the water. Granny Pig speaking. Hello? 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 Somehow, we need to get a message to Granny. Ah! Uh, message to Granny? <laughs> Polly can fly to Granny. Good idea, Pepper. And I can teach Polly what to say. Grandpa Pig says... Grandpa Pig says... Help! 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 There you see. Easy peasy. Grandpa Pig says easy peasy. You silly old bird. You silly old bird. Hello, Polly. What are you doing here? Uh, Grandpa Pig says... What does Grandpa Pig say? You silly old bird. Oh! Help! Help! Goodness me! Grandpa must need help. <laughs> Grandad Dog! Hello, Granny Pig. Grandpa Pig needs help. Please, could you rescue him? Madam, I would be delighted. Hooray! Ahoy there! Do you need rescuing, Captain? Um, maybe. Would you like my rusty old boat to rescue you? Yes, please, Grandad Dog. Catch this, Captain. Aye, aye, Skipper. Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Granny, did Polly tell you we needed help? Yes. Polly is a very clever parrot. Say, I'm a clever parrot. Woof, woof. I'm a clever parrot. <laughs> Goldie the fish. It is a lovely sunny morning. Daddy Pig is driving to work in his car. Breakfast time, Goldie. Mummy Pig is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, Goldie isn't eating. Oh, maybe she's not feeling very well. Let's phone Dr Hamster the vet. Dr Hamster the vet speaking. Hello, Dr Hamster. Goldie the fish is not eating. And she looks sad. Oh, you better bring Goldie to see me right away. Oh, Daddy took the car. How do we get to the vet? We can take the bus. Oh, goody! <laughs> this is the bus stop. The timetable says the next bus will be here at 10 o'clock. What time is it now? 10 o'clock. Hooray! <laughs> How many tickets? One mummy ticket and two little piggies. And one of fish, please. The fish goes free. <laughs> Hold tight! Mr Bull is waiting for the bus. Moo! Oh, one ticket to the music shop, please. Hello, Mr Bull. We're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, dear. Feeling poorly, are we, Goldie? She can't talk. She's a fish. Of course. Uh, maybe she'd like to hear a tune on my tuba. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds funny. That's why I'm going to the music shop to get it mended. Ooh. Mrs Sheep, Mrs Cat, Mr Zebra and Madame Gazelle have got on the bus. Uh -oh. Four tickets to the supermarket, please. Hello, 
Madame Gazelle. We're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, is Goldie not well? She likes you. <laughs> the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. <laughs> Supermarket! Bye! Music shop! Bye! Last stop, the vet! The vet helps sick pets get better. Oh, is this the sad little fish that won't eat? Yes. Watch this. Goldie has eaten the food. Oh, she didn't eat at home. Maybe Goldie was bored at home. The interesting journey has cheered her up. Oh. You have a very healthy, happy fish. She's lovely. Thank you, Dr Hamster. Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are going home on the bus. Mr Bull is going home with his bended tuba. It's as good as new! <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle and her friends are going home with their shopping. I see Goldie the fish is happy again. Yes. It was the bus ride that made her better. The fish in the bowl swims round and round, round and round, round and round. The fish in the bowl swims round and round all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, where have you been? We took Goldie to the vet and now she's better. <coughs> oh dear, Goldie has a cough. <coughs> I think we should take Goldie to the vet again tomorrow. I can drive you in the car. No, Daddy. We want to go on the bus. It's fun. OK. We'll go on the bus. <laughs> Everyone loves going on the bus, especially Goldie the fish. Numbers. It is a school day for Pepper and her friends. Children, today we will be learning all about numbers. Does anybody know what numbers are for? Are numbers for counting? Yes, Pepper. Who would like to do some counting now? Me! 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 me. OK, Pedro. Uh, one, two, three, four. Pedro has counted to four. Well done, Pedro. Can anyone count higher than four? Me, me, me. Rebecca. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rebecca has counted to seven. Excellent, Rebecca. Madam Gazelle? Yes, Candy? My mum can count to ten. Wow! Yes, after seven, there is eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. Very good. It is playtime. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit, Zoe Zebra, Susie Sheep and Pepper all like to skip. I like sand. I like sea. I like Susie to skip with me. <laughs> <laughs> I like ping. I like pong. I like Zoe to skip along. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let's see who can skip the most without stopping. Squeak! I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Zoe wins. Hooray! 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 Nay. <laughs> Petro, do you want to do some skipping? No, thanks, Pepper. I'm hula hooping. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wiggle waggle wee. Hula hoop, hula hoop. One, two, three. Ooh. How many can you do without stopping? A million and three. Wow. That's a lot. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was eight. I'm a bit tired. I'll do the rest later. 
can you do hula hoops, Emily? I can do them my own special way. Emily Elephant is hula hooping with her trunk. Hooray! I think that was about 100. <laughs> George wants to play leapfrog. George likes playing leapfrog. <laughs> leapfrog, everybody! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! <laughs> Playtime is over. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, we can all count to ten now. Very good. But we need to be playing to do it. Of course. Red Sharp, Edmund, bring the extra long skipping rope. <laughs> Hello. I've come to collect Pepper and George. Daddy, you're too early. Oh. Not to worry. You can join in our game. Oh, OK. Is everybody ready? Ready. Counting to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh, oh. oh you look tired, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'm fine. I could skip to a hundred. Good idea, Daddy Pig. To a hundred. Uh... Maybe to twenty. Okay, two twenty. Eleven, twelve. Digging up the road. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and her family are driving to the playground. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the playground. We're going to the playground. <laughs> brum, brum. Pepper and George love going to the playground. <laughs> oh, why have we stopped? It's a traffic jam. But we need to get to the playground. <laughs> Don't worry, George. The traffic is moving again. Stop! Mr Bull has stopped the traffic. What's the problem, Mr Bull? Moo! We're digging up the road. There's water coming out of the ground. Yes, that's what we're here to fix. Ooh. Is it going to take long? It will take as long as it takes. <laughs> digger, digger. George <laughs> likes diggers. This way, Mr Rhino. OK, boss. Mr Bull is the boss. Mr Bull, where's all that water coming from? It's coming from a broken water pipe underground. How are you going to fix it? We dig up the road! Wow! We turn the water off. <laughs> George loves cranes. Crane! Crane! We take the old pipe out and put the new one in. <laughs> Thank you for showing us your work, Mr Bull. Oh, no problem. Bye. See you later. <laughs> oh, dear. George doesn't want to leave Mr Bull. We're going to the playground, George. <laughs> you can play diggers and cranes in the sand pit. And we'll see Mr Bull again on our way home. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the playground. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit are playing in the sandpit. <laughs> Let's play in the sandpit. OK. <laughs> Stop. What's the problem? We're digging up the road and I'm the boss. Oh. <laughs> Is it going to take long? It'll take as long as it will take. We have to make a hole. Vroom, vroom. We fill it in. Vroom, vroom. And the road is mended. Hooray! <laughs> Pepper, George, it's 
time to go home. <laughs> oh dear, George doesn't want to go home yet. <laughs> On the way home, George, we can see Mr Bull digging up the road. <laughs> Pepper and George are looking forward to seeing Mr. Bull again. Digger, way. Here we are. Oh, Mr. Bull is not here. Mr. Bull must have finished and gone home. <laughs> Digger, way. Oh, stop! Oh, is the water pipe broken again? No. Pepper, this time it's faulty electrical cables. How do you mend a cluckety cables? We dig up the road! Hooray! Pepper and George <laughs> love it when Mr. Bull digs up the road. <laughs> Everyone loves it when Mr. Bull digs up the road. <laughs> 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 <laughs>